Welcome home, Raiders. Tonight, we're going to talk uh, Firelands. Fi wait, Fire... Firelands? Firelands. I guess we're, we're going to talk Firelands. This is CTR number 360. You're listening to Convert to Raid. Convert to Raid. The podcast for Raiders in the world of Warcraft. Firelands? Really? I, got, I guess that's what we're doing. Uh, from the Convert to Raid uh, command post here in Sacramento, California. Today is August, what is it? 6th, 2019. And it is now 7.13 in the PM. Uh, welcome to the show, everybody. Thanks for joining us from all around the world of Warcraft and beyond, of course. Uh, my name is Pat Crane, your host of the show. And always, the players are here. And we've got a... <coughs> Well, okay, well, I guess uh, I guess we've got uh, from lagging balls. It's Thorn. Hello, Thorn. Hi. I'll have you go first. <laughs> well, hello. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's all right. You see, you wanted hello. you wanted to uh, chime in. Hey. You were getting ready. You were getting ready. Well, welcome. Uh, and of course, <laughs> as always, uh, it's Thist. Hello, Thist. Hello. I'm so pleased to be here. Are Are you? <laughs> yes. All right. You look, you look a little, a little, uh, a little weird. So. Oh, thanks. I mean, no, I mean, I, I mean, that in, the, in the best way. Like your face is just kind of like you're like looking at me, like, uh, really? Do I really want to be here? Who knows? I mean, of course I do. That's why I'm here every single week, Pat. All right. All right. Well, uh, thank you both for joining me. Uh, Twitch chat, thank you guys as well. And for all those guys out there uh, carrying us around with you, thank you for uh, joining us. We have a lot to talk about including Firelands, for whatever reason that, that might be. And that seems like a long time ago, but it's coming around. Um, and we've also got uh, Classic. We've got, uh, we've got uh, 825 stuff, other 825 stuff. Some interesting stuff coming up in 825. <laughs> and, now that, and now that we're into the raid, now we can talk about 825. It's so, it's so stupid that we are always like, so far ahead of where we're actually playing at. <laughs> well, true. So, so, uh, so, Thorn, what is going on with you these days? Because it's been a while since I've talked to you. As far as the gaming uh, realm sure. goes, what's been uh, what's been the haps? Um, my Death Knight is my new jam. Mm. So I'm leveling Unholy, and oh shoot, I forgot to look up an, the name of an add-on um, that my good friend Lord Shaper um, suggested to me from our Discord. Um, but it is a, like a leveling speed up thing, like something that kind of tells you like it, it actually like accepts the quests for you. So just from like 110 to 120, when I'm trying to kind of like speed through and just get caught up, nice. it's been spectacular. Cause it just, it just so, so takes what, over all the administrative stuff. What level is your uh, DK right now? 113? Nice. 114? That's not I'm bad. Still, yeah. I'm still in the cusp. Um, but like, I'm really having a good time with it. And you're it you're like, like an, crazy powerful. You're like an unholy. Yeah. Very What's much so. what? Yeah. So what is the so now? I never played <clears throat> Unholy. I played a little bit of Blood DK. I played Frost. I think I played Undead when it was first out. Um, but what is it like these days? Uh, playing oh, it's Unholy? um. I can demonstrate. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're just rolling your rolling your face on your on your keyboard and it's so like yeah. old school mage. It works, right? Yes. So nice. I mean, old school mage. That's new school mage. I don't know. I don't know what mage is like. I don't know. So, <laughs> so, uh, so unholy. You've got uh, the the ghouls and stuff, right? Yes, I have my little buddy. Yeah. And sometimes I make him into a a bit of a bigger little buddy. Oh, is that what so you he call hits it? A little harder. I he... I say, hey, bigger little buddy, go ahead and get yeah. him. Go get him. That's exactly. That's, that's what, what I call him. That's what you say to it. Yeah. Right. I'm learning so gotta, much about you two tonight. You got to encourage to make sure that, you know, right. he's That's, optimized and, and works to the best of his ability. Positivity at all is key. And I think that uh, the, and I'm not sure if it's, it's true or not, but uh, I know that the hunters have a glyph uh, called fetch for their pets to be yes. able to, to be able to go and pick up 
items for them as on Very fallen helpful. on fallen foe, right? Lucky. Uh, th yeah, you should have the same thing for for your ghoul. Seriously. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Everybody with a pet should have that. Right. Yeah, right. but so far it's been really fun. Um, the few times that I've died while leveling were just when I pulled um, groups or like a, the random elite or something like that within a questing area and without accidentally realizing it because I'm just pulling everything. Sure. Pull everything. Sure. And just destroy everything and move on, you know, a little further down the road and then pull everything and then destroy everything. And it's pretty fun. <laughs> Good. Good. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so, and then when you get up, you're, you're going to be, uh, uh, getting geared up to raid with bots. Yes. Again, Blood of the Scribe. That's right. Uh, if we let him back in. If they let me back in. <laughs> right. Yes. Fist, what is going on with Blood of the Scribe <laughs> right now? Oh, you know, we're just chilling. Yeah. Getting bosses down. Um, we can get normal down in one raid night, so that's three and a half hours. Nice. No problem, though. And then a few pulls in uh, on the trash of Heroic, because that first trash pack, like those couple ones, yeah, no joke. That's not that's no, not they're, that's they're, not a joke. They uh, they hit pretty hard. They do, and then yeah. they push you into more trash, which are also not jokes. There's no there's no laughing to be had, Patrick. I, I, it's all I, very serious. Very from serious. A, from a healer standpoint, I know that uh, those tanks take a take a beating. I mean, they really yes. do. Like the initial hit is like half their health. It's like yeah, <laughs> it's <what>? ridiculous. <laughs> so I know. Yeah. Uh, luckily, you know, when you die, you just go back to the the start to, of the raid. Right. But you know, and that's nice. But is it? I don't know. But uh, we've got um three heroic bosses on farm cool. and we got our first taste of heroic lady ashbane last week and we are uh adequately terrified of that fight <laughs> nice nice it's hard it is hard oh my goodness well, i think we got to the second carapace on our last poll uh but it's how many cool. carapaces does that's the lady have that's carapai okay. how many carapai does duff <laughs> does lady Doth the lady have probably lady Ashby. three? I think. Yeah, I think it's three. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so I'm actually kind of looking. Lovely carapai you have. I'm kind of looking forward to it myself because uh, my raid team, we are now three of eight heroic, and we're only going to be we're yes. only going to be going through heroic. Uh, we're only going to be doing heroic from now on. So uh, I have to number one. I have to gear up because <laughs> i've been slacking because i've been looking for a new uh command center for for the show yeah it's all about the it's show it people it's not about finding a house for myself no, no 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 it's about finding a command center for 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 the show and for you guys if they would just provide guild housing in game this would be taken care of already right oh my god there was a leak about something like that and i'm gonna use leak very loosely <laughs> i'm gonna put it in air quotes uh there was a leak something about uh guild uh, housing or something so oh, yeah yeah i, you know what, you I don't think it's gonna this. happen i don't believe it oh, we've heard these cool. rumors before and it's never <laughs> happened <laughs> so um anyway uh so yeah so now we're only going to be uh going through heroic and so i'm i'm kind of uh equally terrified because my gear level is pretty low it's pretty yes. miserable right now going through normal would benefit you greatly Your yes it would score? yes it would well maybe i'll join you guys for uh for normal night absolutely come on down okay. that's uh that's sure. uh wednesdays sure what was it back in wrath of lich king gear score right yeah yeah and then like didn't you have to have an add-on to like look up yours or look up somebody else's yeah or something you, like that? yes there's an add-on at first oh, right i yeah. remember those it was an yeah i remember that too yeah <sighs> those were the days yes if only we could relive old warcraft somehow uh we can <laughs> actually Oh, really? Well, I, I mean, didn't know. Kind of. Kind of a little bit. Uh, maybe we should ju just jump into it, and we'll uh, go into the news here. Uh, uh, and we're going to start with, uh, of course, it's all World of Warcraft these days, guys. It's, it's, it's CTR. It's not. I mean, we might talk about the other games, but it would be in passing. Yes, very in passing. <sighs> but we are going to actually passing. start with uh, WoW Classic. Let wow. the suffering commence. Mm -hmm. uh, so we now, so we have a pre-launch uh, stress test this week, Woo! right? Yep. And so anybody that has a sub to the what they're calling retail, what I like to call battle for Azeroth, um, <laughs> <laughs> you can just jump right in to this stress test, and it's going to kick off on uh, was it a Wednesday or Thursday? 
Thursday. Thursday. Uh, and you can just jump right in on Thursday, and and that's where they really want you to stress the system out because they yeah, really want to stress them out. Two hours during from 11 a.m. PST PDT. <laughs> I can't do Pacific. it. Just I, pac- Pacific. Just Pacific is fine. I'm always missing these stress tests because I'm testing my stress at work. Of the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm testing my stress with uh, with this with this uh, house stuff. So yeah. uh, so that's going to be happening on Thursday. So that'll be fun, and you can all join in on that stuff. And then we also have character creation starting next week. Yeah. Oh yeah. So on the so on the twelfth, we have you can make like three characters, and you can choose your ser- servers. They haven't released those yet. No, I Thanks. wish they would. Thanks, Blizz. Hey, yeah, Blizzard. I, um, please. Right. They said that they were going to do that later this week. Yes. So there's that at least, right? Yes. Um, but I I, I kind of wanted to see what. Uh, what our plans are for for classic and i know that we've kind of uh teamed up a little bit right should are we going to tell them the whole story or well i think so we could tell them part of the story i don't want to we don't have any solid plans yet though no it's not solid no but no uh you know it's still it'll still get still classic yeah right so um we've been uh trying to come up with what we are going to do uh we as in ctr and uh blood of the scribe which is the guild connected to lagging balls which is what thorn and i are from uh and uh you know others other heads of of guilds it was very much like uh what was it like the five families like the five mob families in that mob movie the godfather the horse head. yeah that one yeah, wow one. it was very much like that like we all came together we were all like hooded figures in the we woods had, and we, we had our consiglieries all yes yes, yes. yeah right. like the horse head in bed, like from the simpsons right but no it yes. was just the it was just the horse head mask yeah head. <laughs> We're all like eyeing each other because like some of us are hordes, some of us are alliance, and some of us are PvP and some are PvE, and we're just like staring at each other. We're like, can we trust you? And then like some people brought their officers, and it's like, who who that guy? Why is he looking at me? Who is this? Who did you bring here today? Welcome to this gathering. Exactly. Very old hatches. So we're classic. So we're talking with a bunch of different other communities, including AIE and others. Um, to try to figure out what we can do for everyone. And I think that we're kind of on the same page as far as uh, that we kind of all want to be together somehow. Kind of. Just what it looks like, we have no idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we don't know yet. Ah, I mean, just, so... just because we're trying to do something doesn't mean we're good at it. So uh, as we as we build consensus on, uh, on this project, we will let you know through our Twitter, through um, through Discord, through whatever. Uh, yeah, I think our our end goal is to make sure that w- no matter what community you're in or interested in being in, uh, you will have a a place to go when classic drops. Right. Um, if you if you need one, you know, like you don't have to join us at all. Like even if you enjoy no. the shows or you're part of CTR already or whatever, like do your thing. But we just want to have a place where people can be. And you know, we we weren't uh, united like this when you know WoW dropped the first time. But you know, we're a bunch of cool people now, and we know that we can help each other out and have yep. a lot of fun if we were, you know, do in cahoots at least. Yep. And uh, it, I would I would really like it because you know nobody knows exactly how classic is gonna going gonna be you know we yeah. don't know how much interest there's gonna be going forward I think there's gonna be quite a bit initially obviously yes. but then after the the first few weeks what is it gonna look like then yeah. and then you know a few months down the road what is that gonna look like. And will there be enough people for raiding? I mean, these are the questions that people are really asking themselves yes. as we get closer and closer to the classic date. And, and science cannot tell us this. Right. So if we get all of uh, these uh, larger communities together and say, hey, we're going to be over here, at least that maybe gives us a fighting chance to be able to do maybe some raiding, uh, some some end game stuff and uh, have a lot of fun with uh, friends and and uh, and potential friends our, and our internet families. 
Yes. Sunshine. You know, I have a prediction for you guys. What's uh -oh. that? I think when Classic drops, no matter how we've organized this and no matter how everybody, how everybody else organizes everything else, um, as you said, it's going to be it's going to be the new hotness, the new mm -hmm. old hotness, as yeah, it were. Right. Um, yes. Early on, but then after that, like the in the very soon thereafter of everybody starting out in there during the immediate honeymoon when everybody's still in there and still leveling levels one to ten, let's say, mm -hmm. it's going to be like the old school where everybody's hanging out in voice and people are like. It takes 10 years to run somewhere, so you're just talking. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's what it's going to be like. It's going to yeah. be like the old where we where we hang around in the voice comms and just chill. And Exactly. Yeah. That, the whole I, thing we did all night was run back from Orgrimmar from training the, the next three spell levels and then running all the way back over to where we're leveling. <laughs> Trust we me, at, after, after doing some of the beta stuff, I, that is one of those things where I'm like going, okay, you really have to become this, uh, this pathfinding uh, god of sorts yep. and, and really just try to try to figure out exactly what the best routes are for everything because ugh. yes uh, that's how so i got much the running. explorer title before flying <laughs> so so yeah so maybe that's, i should go that's druid. og hardcore maybe i should go druid just so that i, I can get travel form early <laughs> that's the I only mean, way to speed it up right yeah, yeah pretty much pretty much it's not like we have mounts with chauffeurs on them <laughs> I know. I'm so I'm so bummed about that. That was a very polarizing back in the day. Yeah. And that oh was yeah, a the chauffeur mount. Edition. The chauffeur mount when that first when that first came around, people were like, "Oh no, this is breaking the game." Yep. And it's all and, over now. And everybody that's all over now. Everybody that was playing an alt said, "Nope, we like it." I'm just saying, <laughs> I didn't have a chauffeur back in vanilla, but I'm still playing after 15 years. Shelf so I'm, I'm just saying. Right. Right. Uh, anything else uh, classic wise that we need to touch on? I think that, you know, they're just kind of getting everything ready. So, yeah, uh, I am excited. And if you can be participate in the stress test, do it. It's very helpful. Stress yeah. them out. Yeah. And, the, and just <clears throat> do me a favor. Don't take my names. Um, Squatzilla and Splatow. Yeah. Uh, and still like Pat Crane because I'm taking that one. Pat yes. Cran. Pat Crane. You can have <clears throat> Pat Crane if you want. Okay. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's fine i know that i know that somebody on uh our server has uh on airy peak has uh cat prain <laughs> <laughs> because of john <laughs> something that john horseman said back like last year or whatever so that's fun <laughs> uh let's see uh what else all right maybe we should just move into uh wow proper or as we say bifa a clever strategy. Yeah. Um, Do we? <laughs> well, that's beef. That's <laughs> beef or beef. Buff, or buffa. <laughs> like buffa. I like. I, I don't mind buffa. Buffa. <laughs> the beefa Buf is pretty fun to say. <laughs> uh, it is. It's all good. Um, see, I just wanted to check in with uh, the mythic race because we last week we we announced on the show anyway for the show we we t talked about method and limit and. Um, uh, who else was it? I don't even remember. Um, they dumb guild. Yeah, they got and, one world first. And AFKR and pieces. Uh, pieces is now eight of eight, and we now have, I think there are, ten, nope, eleven guilds 11. that have now, uh, hit, eight of eight mythic. And for that, we say, congratulations, everybody. What a show. Congratulations. What a show. But now we have uh, like a version and uh, Fat Shark Yes and Pieces and uh, all those guys. And kind of... unwealthy homeless men. Yes. Yes. Don't forget them. Right. They are unwealthy <laughs> and homeless, but they're trying their best. Well, if they were wealthy homeless men, then I would have questions. Right. Still, no, still no alliance guilds have gone 8 of 8 mythic, by the Ooh. way. So this could be a, a, a wait. I don't know. And like the last time around for the for Come the on, CTR guild for the two boss mini raid. Oh no, we'll we'll do mythics. But, Come on, uh, guys. Uh, so, but for the two boss mini raid, uh, did the alliance even finish out the top one hundred so that you could do cross realm? I don't think they did. I didn't hear anything about it I, actually. I know so. that it was. The, we were still waiting for it to happen 
uh, before Ooh. Eternal Palace hit. But You know I mean, what? I'm just going to be the bigger person here, the bigger faction, if you will. I won't say anything, but just so everybody knows, when this is all over and we stop recording and <laughs> I go on my merry little way, I'm going to be laughing and, sure. and laughing and feeling sure. real good. Sure. Just, yeah. <laughs> Why not? I mean, you know, it's, it is kind of weird to, to not – I mean, we've always – I think for the raiding scene, we've always seen alliance guilds kind of not progressing as quickly as horde guilds, and I don't know exactly why that is. I don't know if what it has to do. What, I don't what, know if it what? has to do with racial traits. I don't know if it has to do with raiding environment or servers or whatever. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Me either. Hmm. I don't know anything about the alliance or some what, kind of. Uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, what, are, what are you doing that I don't know about? I don't know. I don't know, Patrick. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. So maybe it's something in the water. Like they're just <sighs> like, uh, hanging out in the you, hanging out in the in, in Boralis and and just uh, getting drunk in the in the harbor or something. I don't know. Are you covering up for something? Is there no. something I need to know? No, I, I, it sounds very suspect. It sounds. It sounds. What are you hiding? For Patrick? lack of a better term, fishy. All right. Uh, so what does that mean? <laughs> it's a Morales Harbor that. joke. Uh, sorry. Um, anyway, uh, so we will keep an eye on that stuff and and uh, let you know how how stuff progresses even after the race is over. Because I mean, you know, who cares, right? I mean, these right, these sure. guys are pretty awesome. And I, I don't even know how many are seven of eight. It's a, it's a lot. Yeah. So. Yeah. But that, uh, but even on normal, the, <laughs> the, the Queen Ashara uh, fight is kind of chaotic. Well, I mean, it's the last boss, so you know it has to be. Um, it, it has mechanics on mechanics on mechanics. Yes. And it's just, it's like, I get it, I understand it. Doesn't mean I like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Just give like me it. the loot. Just what about the kill Jaden fight? Remember that? Yeah, I remember that one too. That was fun. I, it, was, it was all right. For me, like those those mechanic y fights mm -hmm. uh don't become fun until you do it enough where it clicks and then you're like, eh, I get it. And right. then it you feel smart, you know? Sure. I like feeling smart. I don't I don't experience that a lot, so <laughs> the, pr the, the problem that I have right now is that I'm uh, swing healing, so it's like I, I will DPS unless they tell me to heal. Uh, right. And so Ooh. sometimes I don't see the same – I don't see the fight the same way that the next time. Sure. S so it becomes, like, very different for me, and I, and I have trouble uh, – well, not necessarily trouble, but it's like you have to flip a switch. Right. And you have to Absolutely. like think about it as a DPSer instead of as a healer and it changes your your strat completely. Uh, What's on spec a, DPS? On uh boom. Boom kick. Okay. Oh. So uh so uh yeah, it's I mean it's still fun. I'm my DPS is horrible, but that's because I'm undergeared because I was looking for a new command center. Yes. <laughs> uh, when you're doing both roles, like that's hard to keep up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, thankfully, they share a lot of gear, so it's it's fine. Oh, that's good. It's okay. It, it maybe not the the best gear all the time, but you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. <sighs> well, <laughs> yeah. No, it's been it's been fun talking about the raid. What is so? What do you think about the raid so far, Thist? Um, Are you having a good time with it? I absolutely am. Okay. I think it's it's my favorite raid so far in this expansion. I know there haven't been a lot, but um, well, been it's three. definitely it's fine. Yeah, I mean, three's not a huge number, but definitely the most entertaining. Uh, I don't know. I just uh, I don't know. I think we talked about this last time and the time before, where it's like raids are supposed to be fun, and sometimes some raids aren't fun right off the bat. And yeah. I think that's completely subjective. It just, it depends on your team, your own situation. Um, maybe most of the fights aren't uh, super awesome for your class and spec specifically. So that, you know, kind of throws a wrench into things sometimes. Sure. Um, but for me personally, this raid is engaging and fun and unique and interesting. I think the overall aesthetic is really nice and, and fresh and, and I don't know. It's 
it's like some some raids you'll you after two months of doing it it's like this is a chore now and i don't want to feel that way you know because sure. it's fun uh but with this one i really don't see that happening it's just I don't know. It's fun, and and all of the bosses are very different, and this this does seem very mechanic heavy as far as raids go. And like I said, once I figure those things out, I feel really good about myself. And and I, I meant it when I said that. Like I I love that feeling, and I also love the feeling of like real progression. And even though the mm -hmm. heroic Lady Ashvane is very terrifying, and we've wiped on her a lot so far, and it seems really hard, I'm excited about that. Cool. Um, there, it, I think there should be a roadblock in the middle of a raid. Uh, it oh, shouldn't sure. all be just leading up to the end. Sure. So. And, <laughs> and and we saw that Ashvane was a roadblock in the Mythic race as well. And yeah, so, she and was. <laughs> so it's it's kind of one of those things where uh, there and there should be. And and I I remember back in the day, um, the uh, where was it? It was in the uh, uh, damn. It was the end fight for Cataclysm, I think, or the end raid for that uh, Ultraxian. Big oh, dragon that you had to fight on the on the top of the tower yeah. or whatever. That was and, a cool fight. Uh, yeah, and he was like this big wall of a fight um, where you had to press the stupid button to survive. And oh my god, yes, that and button. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And so you just lag out because everybody was standing in the same place. Right. <laughs> and then your button wouldn't pop, and you'd be like, right. "There's nothing I can do." Right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, it's nice to have those types of fights where it's. At least a little bit of a of a roadblock, and in Firelands it was a list resort, and in you know, yes, uh, ooh, which Hordon will... in that one with the dinosaurs, yeah, but he yeah. was the number two boss, so it's kind of weird there. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was really hard. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> Throwing a thunder, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and and all that kind of stuff. So I mean, it's it's um, it's that part's kind of nice, um, and I would say that I love the raid i don't necessarily like the new zones very much honestly just just sure. from a daily standpoint like doing dailies sure. again and building up gear and uh, the benthic gear and the blah 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 and all that kind of stuff i'm i'm really not grooving on it too much and i'm still not flying because i'm just like not attached to it plus of all the irl stuff that i've been doing yes um, yeah. And maybe, and maybe that's part of the problem is that I've been so stressed out that, <laughs> that, that I haven't been able to have problem. fun. Uh, that is the problem. So that's a huge problem. <laughs> I like all the group stuff. I don't like the solo content that I've been doing in those in those zones. At least not yet. Maybe at one point I can relax enough to enjoy it. Yeah, you just got to unclench, man. <sighs> I guess. I guess. Um, say there was some stuff about eight point two point five coming mm. up what? uh yeah i mean even the even world of warcraft dev developers are talking about it right now what yeah yeah did you know about that yes okay well then maybe we should <laughs> then maybe we should talk about it <laughs> really uh yeah we'll talk about it we'll talk about it um so thist what do we got coming up for 825 what are what are some of the things that you're most interested in Oh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, the Worgen and Goblin character model updates. Um, yeah. I don't play a Goblin or a Worgen, but it's just, they need it's to, time. They need to look better? Is that what you're saying? Well, yes. Yes, they do. <laughs> um, absolutely. And it's it's just, it was one of those things where, like, they're the last two that, that are getting an up upgrade, right? Yeah. That's it. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, it, it just felt if it, it's time, you know, if, if it was starting to feel unfair. And uh, when was the the second last one included uh, Blood Elves, right? And uh, that was definitely so. in WAD. I remember when it happened. I remember the day it happened. I stripped off all of my armor and I was like, <laughs> nice. Hey. They, gave, they gave Blood Elves butts and new bikinis. And oh, so, yeah. They yeah, gave so them butts. Like, finally. Yeah, got a butt now. Finally yeah, got just, butts. A little bit in the trunk. A couple, couple pix pixels your way back there. Yeah, baby's baby's got back. Wait, yes. I don't know. A little bit know. of that. <laughs> Belf's got back. I feel bad for saying that. That's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You only creeped out half your audience, not right, all of it. Right. Um, but yeah, I. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Don't you dare! You say whatever you want. Ugh, this is your show. Whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, it's definitely about time, and I feel 
I feel really happy for people who main a worgen or a goblin because it, you know it's it's a great feeling just having the- some new customization options, which are always great to have, um, mm-hmm. and just generally looking better and blending in more with the new content. Like it's it's yeah. it sucks when you go into a new area with new NPCs and the NPCs look better than you do. And you're like, yeah, great. I know. And, and that's fantastic. So, so I took, I took a look at both the goblin and the worgen forms and, uh, the, the goblin forms definitely look a lot cleaner, a lot better. Um, kind of less, uh, jaggedy, you know, yes. a little bit less. And then for the worgen, I know that one of the big criticisms is that they look more like a puppy. Now they have puppy faces. Well, and this, whether this, you whether or not you like that, I don't know. But oh, you look at that sweet little right. warden, baby. Oh, what a cute little warden. Stop, both of you. <gasps> but, but yeah, well, I, that's what happened to Torin, isn't it? Like Torins used to look. I mean, no offense to male Torins back oh, in the day, but they looked terrible. Oh, like their were, faces. They were bad. Yeah. And now they look like cartoon cows, which is you sure. know that that took some getting used to. I will admit. Uh, so much better though, I, right? So much better. Yeah. So much better. Because I, I, when I was playing classic, I was playing uh, Torin Druid, and and I was like, "Wow, look at those, <laughs> look at those pixels. They are so yeah. large." Yep, <laughs> they really were. Oh, and those nostrils and the and Very the big. oh man, and like the way the teeth were showing at the back of the jaw. Yeah. The time, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. so, yeah. Thorin, you got anything for for the character models? check them out uh, no i did not okay. check them out um but I, i'm happy for everyone because that that's a big deal you know sure, sure. like when it in all in all sincerity you know just because like i, I joke like we all joke whatever mm-hmm. but like when your character when your um when your class when your race is getting the update like that's that's a big deal so, it is congratulations yes. guys uh yeah, now good. now thorn are you looking f- uh, forward to anything in particular in 825 from the from the list that was given to us uh by the devs I am um, two kind of strange things, maybe the the party sync and the um, recruiter friend. So let's talk about that a little bit. So uh, party sync is a new thing that they're throwing That's in. That's one of those hotlines that you can call and there's a party on the line. Yeah, yeah, and then you can then you, everybody's you there. Double click your phone and then you get more people and then you. Oh yeah. yeah. In a minute. The party line. <laughs> And then it's like, is any one of you a beautiful lady? And then some dude's like, no. And then no, and then some dude says yes. <laughs> How'd you know? And then things okay, get I, weird. Can I tell a, a story from when I was a kid? Yes. Oh. There right. was a 900 number. Well, it was probably an 800 number, something like that. But for Santa Claus, you could call and speak oh, with Santa Claus. Yeah. And this was when I was in like first grade. I lived with my grandmother in Glassell Park, Los Angeles, and I was playing out in the yard. And she yells my name. She's like Thorn. That's not what I went by as a kid, but she's like Thorn. And I, I jokingly got up and went, I didn't do it. And I run inside to find a phone bill of like three hundred dollars from calling oh. Santa Claus over and over and oh. over and over. Oh, oh. so you're looking for Santa forward to spending three hundred bucks on party sync? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, this is go where I thought it was. By the way, uh, this is not sync like kitchen sink. This is sync like sync up. Like, you right. Know, oh, whatever. that makes more sense. Right. Okay. Connect. So, uh, party sync. Uh, what is it? Thorn. It is um, a really cool new system where um, you know you ever you ever find that you're in the middle of a, a quest line or you're in the middle of a um, one of those complicated multi-part quest or activities in game. And then or you, you or people... you've been calling Santa Claus way too much and yeah. yeah. Right. When you find yourself in this kind of situation, uh, you you recruit friends. You bring your friends into your group, into your party to help you out, to get you out of that phone bill. Mm-hmm. That's and in right. this situation, you may find that your friends are struggling with a different part of the phone bill or a different, they haven't quite called Santa yet. And <laughs> you've already called Santa a whole lot. Oh, boy. So um, since you're in different parts of that quest line, Party Sync just puts you together. And so you're on the same page. And also, that means that. Uh, even those guys that are at max level can join whoever and do stuff that they're that doing cool. and join their join like new friends that are are coming in through recruit a friend or whatever uh and so that is kind of interesting if you're and they're actually going to be relaxing the rules for getting into dungeons and such as well 
whatever the lowest member can do, you can do. That's pretty cool. I think that's that's super smart, and I think it was always trending this way, just with the the level cap getting ever higher. You know, because yeah. um, I. I, I talk to a lot of people about video games every day. And the number one question that people who don't know about my podcasting background is what is your favorite game? And I'm like, World of Warcraft. And it, I either get, I tried that and then I stopped or, uh, what is the level cap now? Like that, like 120, that's way too, I can't do it. You know, like I looked yeah. into it and too much and you know I, I obviously like, I can't see things from their perspective. I can only imagine what it's like to be, you know, a, 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 a new wow player and, and looking at all this. And I, and I know there's level boost and stuff like that, but even, even still there's a lot to learn. And if you're alone, if you have no, nobody to play with and you're alone and you're starting at ground zero, like that is daunting and you're probably just not going to do it. So this is genius because now you can play with friends. You can play with people in your guild without, you know, quote unquote, inconveniencing anyone. You don't have to feel bad asking people to do lower content with you or making them switch to an alt or whatever. Like this solves a lot of problems and it's going to give people um, a, a clear look at WoW. And uh, I don't know, a lot more people are going to find their way into the game. Uh, when they're just starting out through this system. So I think it's genius. The the interesting uh, other part about Party Sync as well, it's not going to be like um, when you're doing time walking. You know, when you're time walking, you're just dropped down to whatever level it is and you're good to go, right? For right. Party Sync, you're going to be dropped down to whatever level it is and you're going to lose abilities. So if you are with a level funny. 16 or whatever you're going to lose so much crap. <laughs> oh, man. You're not going to be able to of, do jack. It's going to be awesome. I kind of feel bad for them, too, because there's so very many combinations of this yeah. that yeah. happen that some of it's going to bug. It's going to be oh, like, yeah. like this is going to be like an ongoing issue for them for a while before they iron it all out. It'll be awesome, though. I, I can't wait. I predict hilarious bugs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> like, you can't mount or, like... Your armor doesn't appear. Or, something. or you go in and like one of your spells is at 120 and the others aren't, and you're just yeah. destroying everybody. <laughs> right. Uh, right. And Sorbic's in the chat. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll uh, all be working. It'll perfectly. all be good, man. Not it'll, no extra work at all. all. Nope, none whatsoever. Uh, and and then along with that is going to be recruiter friend is coming back, and that's actually gotten some cool new updates. So uh, they are going to be giving away, um, well. For each, here's the here's the deal. Here's the way that they're doing it. It's not just you get a mount for recruiting a friend and they stay for X amount of time or whatever. Um, now it is going to be moving forward. It is going to be for each month your recruits have active game time, you'll earn a new reward each month. Oh, so so it'll be pets, mounts, game time, whatever. It's a and, lot. And my guess is that'll keep on changing because. Because they don't care. <laughs> it'll be fine. You know, it's digital rewards, uh -huh. right? So yes, it'll, it, it'll be awesome. And and so uh, so they unlock per month and scale with how many months your recruits have subscribed for. Uh, and yeah. So now all I need are friends who don't play WoW. That <laughs> want to play WoW. And then you can <sighs> party sync with them. And then you can uh, uh, hang out with them. Whatever. Yeah, I just need yeah. to find some of those. You know, I really hope they bring back that Zebra mount. Cause I never got that. Oh uh, yeah, that would be I a never great. Had any friends outside of WoW? That would be a great reward for uh, one of the months, maybe. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Liz, if you could give me that Zebra mount, that'd be that'd be aces. That'd Thank be awesome. You. Speaking of mounts, uh, for eight two five, there's a new there's a new mount uh, coming that we've been waiting for forever, and Ooh. it's the new B mount. Uh, and for that, I'm going to say thank you. I really like the model. I really like the model. It's very, it's very honey. I shrunk the kids. Um, oh. And uh, and so the the only problem with it is, the only problem with it is that you, you uh, it's alliance only. Number one. Sorry. That is a problem. And Pretty number, big problem. And number two, it's another rep grind. Um, you have a, there'll be a new reputation for the, what is it? What is it called? It's like the, 
the, the hive. The hive mind. <laughs> no, that's not. Uh, the hive mind was one. That was... But, but it is like a new rep that you have to grind. Yes, for the very. For the new B mount. And I'm like going, I did. Uh, blah, blah. Another yeah. one. Someday. Maybe yeah, when another the one. is winding Some, down. Someday. Uh, yes. Uh, so the B mount is coming and I, and I look forward to um, not having that for a while. Someday, my son, when all this bad blood is settled between the five families, <laughs> all of us will have B mounts. Uh, not in classic, before. though. Yeah. Nope. Not in classic. Not in classic. Mm -mm. It's not going to happen. None of us will have mounts in classic for a very long time. <sighs> <laughs> very very long time. Very very long time. That's why we'll all be sitting in voice talking. <laughs> uh, but another thing, another thing for eight two five. Just getting back to that real quick, um, and mounts actually, uh, or more specifically, mount previews. Uh, it was noted that um, now with the mount previews, when you're in like your list of mounts, right, and you're kind yeah. of going down the list, you can actually see what you look like on that mount. That's a pretty cool change. So that's that's nice because then you can check and make sure that like. Uh, there's no clipping or like if you're a gnome or a torrent or something like that, you can make sure that you're seated properly yeah. um, and you don't look too awkward. There's just some mounts and some races that don't mix. It just looks weird, you know, and like that's up to you. That's a that's a that's a subjective personal thing. But you have to admit, uh, let's see, for example, the the pink, the pink plane strider mount mm. <laughs> and you're a male tauren. You don't look right, you know. So it's a good it's look. Like, it's a str it's, like, it's a strong look. I'll say it that sure. way. Sure, but to me, it looks like you know when adults go on teeter totters. Yeah. And they're like struggling <laughs> to hold on to the center of gravity on a very small, like little piece of uh, metal. Right. Like that. Yeah. Right. Uh, and uh, Zemo Six in the chat says, "Does this mount work with my with my uh, transmog? Does Honestly, it work? does it work with, with my mog?" I do that a lot. I'm yeah. just like, do I look good on this? Or do I match? But, but now you don't actually have to uh, go through and do the the actual mount of the mount, right. and then you can just actually just see it. So. Pretty soon we'll be able to preview everything in WoW. Sure, like every, sure. Everything. Like, Almost be like a dressing room. Yes, for uh, everything. Or like a dance studio. No, oh. no, no. Don't get silly. <laughs> Hey, that's don't a thing get, that exists. I gotta don't be honest, get I could silly. care less about the dance studio. Hey, I, I like I the know. dance studio. It's fun. Uh, Sometimes you get to go up on stage. All right. <laughs> cool. What? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> uh, one of the other the, the other thing that I thought was really cool about eight two five is the return of Firelands. So we're gonna do Firelands time walking, people. Ooh. That'll be fun. So, you guys remember the Firelands? Oh yes. I remember them. They were very spicy. But it was it was it was Shanix, It was Beth Talak. There was uh, Lord Ryleth. Sir, this is a this is a clean podcast. There, yeah. <laughs> there's Lord Ryleth. There was uh, Bird Boss a with naked resort. baby birds. Yep. Spider uh, Lady. Yep. Stone Man. Balarock? Was that Balarock? No, that was Ryleth. Yeah. Roaming Naga Man. Yeah, um, that was Shanix. Yeah. The other one. The Balarock and, was uh, before the before the best cinematic of of ever, right? Really? You, you think yeah, you defeat all you defeat all the bosses on the on the inner ring, and then you yeah. get the uh, bridge dropping in. That that was yeah. the big cinematic. Oh, it was, it was yeah. big cinematic. And then you, if you're a druid, you pick up those seeds and you become a fire lion. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I love uh, those. That's, Fandral that's Staghelm, uh, his his uh, I don't know, whatever they are. <laughs> <laughs> you that was the uh, fire, Katie. And right right across that bridge was was that the part where you had to do the uh, achievement that was that's the kneeling. For yes, yes, the kneeling before before Zod. Yes, essentially right. kneel before Zod. Right. The one I've joined like ten, maybe twenty different groups for throughout. <laughs> you just help people get that achievement. Uh, oh yeah, I remember doing that. And then that. of course, and then of course Ragnarok. R R Ragnaros. Yes. I can't Rag talk. Rags Rag man. Rags with socks. And, and volcano and sneakers. swirl. He looks like an upside down cone. Yeah. They're cones. They're cones. Kind of. Um and uh that just kind of reminds me of uh the be the beginning of this show actually cuz CTR what happened? 
Well, CTR came around right at that time where Firelands was coming out. Oh, nice. So yeah. Yeah. So we did a bunch of uh, different bits, and one of them was for a, a list resort. I'll play. I'll play part yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll play part of it. Come this on, is, yeah. This is how you do uh, uh, the 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 spinny tornado parts of a list resort. <laughs> so here we go uh, with this. Yeehaw! Welcome to Tornado Town. Saddle up and move them out square dance style. Tanks grab a resto and do she do and don't get hit by a tornado. Scoot and dodge. No, oh, Bonnie, I said scoot and dodge, not die. DPS, oh, it could hurt. Make sure your backside don't get burnt. Stir the bucket. Donnie, not kick the bucket. All right, I'll stop it there. <laughs> uh, so, not kick the bucket. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, but the, the, I mean, it just kind of reminds me of, of all the good times that we had at the beginning of the show and doing all those weird stuffs. So, Stir the bucket. Is yep. that a thing? Yeah, apparently. I, I researched it. I researched Square Dance talk. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. that's. I actually had to do a Square Dancing class in grade eight. How did that go? Good I, life. In I gym. mean, I passed. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It was great. Nice. Alaman left, Alaman right or something. Was it? I don't know. I, 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 don't, know. I don't know how it goes. Like, either. connect your... I, don't, I, have, I have no I have idea. No. I don't remember. I don't know. Slide to but, the left. But all that stuff Slide is coming back. Right. So now so now we can go and and uh and kill stuff in the Firelands uh and, and it'll be difficult. So Lord Yay! I know that I know that uh who was it? Jeremy Fiesel was like, "Oh yeah, now now we got to learn how to do Lord Ryleth again." Like, what do you <laughs> you hit him in the knees. You just hit him in the knees. <laughs> you stir and it's you steer so him around stuff. It's not that complicated. You have you just... to stir the bucket at least three times. Well, that's... At least it's not Garillon. That's true. Those knees are much higher. Let's not talk about Garillon and his fear moons. Ah, <laughs> uh, Garillon. I'm just Garillon, saying, the guild breaker. That thing broke up the guild. Wow. Ow. It was yes. worse than Yoko Ono. <laughs> we never finished him. We uh, never went back. Oh, no. It was over. That's terrible. It was over. Our team couldn't... We couldn't do it. So you made a video from that smushed. era of our raid team, I did. and it and there's a there's a flashing moment with Garillon where it says, "Bad word, bad word, Garillon." Yeah, I was very upset. The music. So, so you was... just you just kept on getting crushed by him. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's sad. You know, uh, that's because one dude was just camping under him the yeah. entire time. <laughs> it was it was me. It was it was you. It was, it was you. Oh, and I'm kicking you off the show and it. our show. Oh, well, what? oh. You couldn't hear that. That was an aside just for Pat. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's good. Um. Uh. Speaking of raids, there's also another thing that's coming up soonish, right? I mean, it's not. Soon it's not. It's not right now. It's not going to be. Uh. Maybe it won't be for eight point two point five, but I think it's coming as a part of eight two five. It'll be like sandwiched in there somehow i love sandwiches right but it's the it's a part of the 15th anniversary event by the way uh 15th anniversary event if you guys liked those mounts from the from the from the box remember the 15th anniversary white uh, box right? version of the of the game where you could get a uh, it was a ragnaros one. it was a ragnaros uh rag statue right yes but it was cool and like black and gold and yes. awesome the aesthetic of this anniversary is on point yeah and so now if you didn't get that you can you can at least get the mounts and they're in the store now it's both of them for 25 bucks that's right so i think they're beautiful they they are i, I and i know that everybody has their opinion on store mounts the oh only my god the only Sorry. thing i'm gonna say is this don't make people feel bad for spending their money on on store mounts because yeah. guess what? It's their money. It's not yours. They Just could be spending that money on drugs. Whatever. Did you ever think of that? Who cares? No, make you only ever think of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? So uh, hopefully, uh, yeah. I mean, the 15th anniversary uh, white box of awesome is pretty cool. It is beautiful. But at least you can Someday get the mounts Someday I'm going to get it. Right. It's like ninety nine dollars or something. <sighs> it's so worth though. You also get a mouse pad, I think. I don't remember. Yeah, I think you do. Ooh, Pretty I sure love mouse pads. 
And then along with the 15th anniversary event, uh, they have announced that they are going to be doing three different uh, mini mini raids. And for that, I want to also say thank you. That is pretty cool. Ooh. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So you get so you get uh, bosses from BC, Wrath, and Kata in three different three boss raids. Uh, that's so cool. And I and I never fought any of the BC bosses when they were new. So this well, could be kind of cool. Oh, it's going to be cool. And if you get all of it down in time, you get a little death wing to fly around on. What? Right. Yeah, you yeah. get a death wing mount. That's uh, amazing. They don't yeah. call it death wing, but they say it's inspired by death wing, but it's totally death wing. Uh -huh. it's, called it's, the amazing. it's called the obsidian world breaker mount. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> and yeah. it looks Hinted. exactly like like uh like wink, wink, oh, yeah. Yeah. like death and himself on the, on the pvp side there's an alterac valley event and if you do that you get a, a mount also for your but faction it's, it's a faction yes. mount so yeah so you get like a wolf or a ram i think it's a, a yeah. callback where you could be in there doing alterac valley for like days at a time yes yeah, it's old school yeah. yeah are they are they amping up the old like uh aren't there like giants that you can summon I think so. I mean, if they're going to bring the old version. I'm not sure if they're going that far with it, but it's going to be inspired by old school stuff. And so for everybody out there, I will see you on the bridge for a <laughs> massive for a massive bridge fight. <laughs> for three weeks. Right, for three weeks. <laughs> we're never going to finish. Yeah, they're like gonna just they're gonna just like, shut are you the, coming into work or, mm -mm, they're gonna no. just shut the server down and you're gonna go ah oh, damn it now we gotta start Listen, over you didn't hire somebody who gives up yeah <laughs> i told you i played we will hold this bridge <laughs> <laughs> boss <laughs> you oh. i promise you we will hold this <laughs> and he's like he was like yeah yeah you will and then hangs up he's like Wait a minute. Just, uh, just, I'm, I'm changing your KPIs for the year. Um, <laughs> we have to readjust. I don't know what that means. <laughs> we have to readjust your goals. <laughs> right. Right. Listen, I have priorities. Okay. Right. Uh, and uh, so, just to go over the bosses a little bit for the anniversary raid for oh. for the 15th anniversary raid. Um, so it'll be in three different wings. BC first is uh, Kelthas, then Lady Vash, and then uh, Archimonde, Right. And nice. then, and then uh, for Wrath, it's Hygen, Anubarak, and then <gasps> Arthas Anubarak. himself. I know Anubarak. Anubarak. I was, I was transported back when I heard Anubarak, and I went, "My God, I haven't thought about that boss in forever." I think about it like every day. I haven't thought about him in forever. <laughs> Why not? I don't Anubarak. know. Yeah. I've thought about him, but from the Heroes of the Storm perspective, because he's a. He's a hero in there. I've oh, not sure. thought about him in terms of his like boss mechanics or right. Right. Well, you know, I mean, it's kind of one of those things. Uh and then Got that car axe. Oh yeah. And then uh let's see what else. Um we also have for Kata, it's Chogal. <gasps> both of them? Yes, both of them. <laughs> uh Nefarian, and then uh, you know. The guy. What Ra guy? Ragnaros. Oh. Yeah. So yes. I I don't mind the Chogal fight. That's not a big deal. Nefarian is going to be tricky, I think. Yes. As, I think it's all going to be. I wonder how they're going to do it. Well, I mean, it's, it's the, if, the, if it's the way that we did it in the past, that's fine. But it's just that the learning curve is going to be weird on it, you know? So. Yeah. It'll be fine. I, I want this whole thing to be very difficult, you know? I hope that they do the heroic version of Rags, though, yeah. where he gets up out of the lava and he starts uh, swinging. So the, the 10th anniversary raid, that was not easy. Remember? What was that No. One? It took like four hours. It did. I was tanking that for some reason. Was that oh. Molten Core? Yeah. Was yeah, but MC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And right. they, you got that sweet dog mount. Yeah. Yeah. The right. core hound. Yeah. yeah. That was hard. And the mount. Yeah. And the achievement. But like, that was awesome. Like, that's exactly yeah. what I want for a major anniversary. I want a big event. I want something difficult. I want, you know, I see those guys on the cool polar bear BlizzCon mount from back in the day. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, I'll never, ever have that. You know, now I can look back on my core hound mount and be like, yes, that happened five years ago. 
it'll, it's never going to happen again. Like this wow. is a point of pride. Like, and I well, look back on it five years ago and I'm just like, that was really, really tough. And now you'll be able to look forward to classic, which is basically looking back. So you'll be able to look forward and look <laughs> back to Ragnaros and say, oh man, I defeated him. I didn't defeat him back in the day, but I did defeat him in the front of the future. I don't know exactly, exactly how like it works. That's like when you put a mirror behind you, when you look in the mirror in front of you to look at your own butt to make sure it looks good that day. Yeah, make sure. Looking forward does to this, look behind. All does right. this mount make my butt look big? Looking yeah. back around. forward to go back to look, be in the future. Okay. Because you got to get back in time. Uh, yeah, I know. I was just looking for that. Got to get back in time. <laughs> I was just looking for that. I was just looking for that. That's so, it. That's, that's uh, good stuff. That's good stuff right yes, there. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Um, real quick, real quick, because I don't want to, I don't necessarily want to put too much weight on this stuff, right? Too late. <laughs> <laughs> because I said anything? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Probably. Oh, Patrick, we, what are you doing here? But okay, so there were sure there this? were there were a, a bunch of uh, posts from people on various platforms like Reddit, like uh, I don't even know where. Credible uh, sources such as Reddit. Credible sources? No, no, this isn't credible sources. This is people with the with supposed leaks about what's going to be uh, happening. Oh. You know what? In the I'm future. seeing a doctor about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're way too leaky. Right. I don't want to have to deal with that at BlizzCon. Nobody wants to be around you. Right. Got and my depends. So it's be- so it was between 4chan and Reddit, which uh, which of course we know is always uh, the they are always up to snuff on everything. I have one um, question. Yeah. Who is this 4chan? <laughs> Stop memeing. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> so we've got we've got uh, kind of some things to at least think about um, here, and we're not saying that this is real. We're not saying that this is going to happen. We are saying that this was in posts around the internet, and it's kind of fun to think about. Kind okay. of fun. That's fair. Um, and I think the I think the the consensus was that. Uh, if we were to call it anything, it would be World of Warcraft Shadowlands. Oh, baby. <laughs> you have to drop your voice down like that. Shadowlands. Oh. Oh, that sounds awesome, Pat. And uh, essentially it's going to be like a, like a world of death, undeath type of something or uh, another. Zombies souls. and ghosts. It'll be souls and, yeah, like ghosts and, you know. Uh, it'll be like the real ghost lands not whatever yeah. i'm just gonna say it sounds yeah. very ghost landsy yeah kinda. everybody's gonna turn into a level one skeleton with a rusty sword oh <laughs> wouldn't that be fun that'd yes. be great that'd be great uh and then new class the tinker class i think that was one of the consensus things oh wow that uh all three of these posts were talking about uh cons- consensus on that there was a consensus uh, consensus on level squish which you know they've already talked about stuff yeah like that. that's gonna happen um and you wait know, they have talked about that already happening yeah they've yeah. talked they've talked about the possibility of it um they have oh, so, suddenly 130 or whatever is next is too much out of yeah, nowhere it, like, listen, <laughs> it really is it's, it's an inelegant system one 120 was too much and uh right. and apparently uh ian and and the team over there don't want to pay attention what i had to say about the subject yeah so which is what which is i had a whole plan oh, go, a whole, don't get him started I plan. i'm not gonna which get into it on this show word, right, i'm Pat? not gonna get into i'm not gonna get into it on this show uh but uh but yes it was a whole plan <laughs> set it around one word right pat yes you want to say the word no no i want you, i want to hear you say it you want to hear me say paragon system yeah, yeah. There it is. all right uh anyway <laughs> <laughs> Literally, Patrick wrote it all out. Ah, I need a sounder for this, Pat. I did. Sent it to me. Like, Could you hand this to Ian as a ghost this next time you see him? I need him to see this. I need it on his desk by Thursday. And I'm like, <laughs> right. I don't have that power. Right. I right. don't. Right. So uh, anyway, so uh, yes, yeah, so it's uh, it's all. Uh, and I think those are really the, the big thing, the big takeaways that I have uh, on it. But it involves like Bonsamdi and... Uh, Helia and uh, uh, I don't even know who else. 
Who, Me either. I, Sylvanas is like a big thing because I mean they're all they all kind of play in that death area. Sure. Right. Are you just saying everybody's gonna die at the end of this expansion, and then like World of Warcraft will be like when you die and everything's in black and white and the the May sky's all maybe. swirly, and there's maybe. somebody like. Oh, wow, that's a really good impression. That's Thank not you. bad. Thank you must spend bad. a lot of time dead. Hey, come on. <laughs> it's, either, it's either that or it's either <laughs> that or. Uh, it's either that or Harry Potter's snake uh, talk. Yes, and uh, Puzzle Metal right? as well, okay? Right? Either way. Uh, so, I mean, it, it sounds pretty interesting, and, and uh, they talk about Nihilotha and blah, blah, blah. I, like, I mean, but I don't want to necessarily Good get into Lord. the weeds on this stuff. No. It's yeah. That's an awful lot, too. Uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of stuff. And actually, um, Icy Veins put up a, a thing in their forums that's called World of Leak Craft. <laughs> and so if you do that an internet if you, if you do a search on it you can read up all, all the stuff that was kind of leaked out uh, you know yeah air, air quotes just, again let me say i've been playing this game for 15 years i played the original warcraft games i've actually worked for blizzard and i can tell you that in all of this time i have only ever predicted one thing correctly <laughs> one thing what was that ever it was the egg toy from Legion where you turn into a giant egg. <laughs> I have it on a podcast. I predicted it, and there it was. That's funny. There it is. That's funny. But just, just you know, when, when you start believing all of these leaks, just remember that one egg, one egg. Right. Over 20 egg. years, one Got egg. It. Got it, everyone? It only takes one egg. One egg. It only takes one. I don't, I don't know what, what that means. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we should talk a little bit about uh, some of the other games uh, just really quickly, though. Uh, because I just want to say what's new, right? What is, what's new? Uh, so Hearthstone, the new expansion is available. Saviors of Old Doom. Ooh, Old Doom. Yeah. Not uh, Old Doom. Nope. And so I just got the cards today. I got extra cards from the coins that I had in my pocket, and I played it a little bit and i don't know what i think of it it's too early it's to tuesday it yeah. it's tuesday how can you say how what you think about it when it's just just come it's out? not fair right uh you're in, gonna have to come back to this next week in uh in heroes of the storm they actually have a new hero kira uh who is another one of those nexus born heroes Ooh. she looks and, cool uh, right and the the feedback has been amazing on this on this uh hero so i've just been hearing nothing but good things about heroes lately Everybody's right. a, like just having the best time. Apparently, queue times are really nice, and the fights are really great. And I mean, Fern, you were playing some a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, I got on the kick. Nice. That's how it goes with, with well, heroes. Let me know how. Just when you think you're out, they pull you back in. <laughs> right. And uh, also, uh, this week is uh, Storm League season one starts. So if you get into that stuff, uh, let me know what you think of it. All right. Do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Diablo one. Diablo one, Diablo one <laughs> is <laughs> there's a, I don't know if you call it Diablo one, but it is Diablo one, just Diablo. I mean, it's playable. It's playable in browsers now, what? which is the weirdest thing. Craziness. I know. I know. How weird is that? You could play it anywhere. I know. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> I would never do that. I'll get right on that report, sir. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> I'm going to need to be nose to the grindstone. We're going to close my door all day. I'm going to be grind man. to the nose stone. Yep, that's the one. Uh, and what? now is the part of the <laughs> <laughs> And now is the part of the show where we talk about esports. Uh, last weekend was the last uh, of the cups for NA and EW. EU. EW? EU. EU. <laughs> that yeah, spells the, the that new spells conglomeration EU. network between the CW and Warner Brothers. I guess and WB. <laughs> EW. Uh, Ew. So, so, Ew. So, so, <laughs> sounds the same when you. Have, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and now we're just waiting for the summer finals, which are coming up on the twenty first of September. Um, this oh, that's a long way away. Have you been this? Have you been keeping up on AWC? AWC? No. That's all right. I forgive. I forgive you. 
Thank you. Yeah. It's been uh, it's been a it's been it's been a week and last week and the week before that, but uh, <laughs> it's been some weeks. <laughs> it's been some weeks. Well, I, I do admit. I do know a couple of things, and that is as far as standings go. Uh, Mew Mew Kitty Club is uh, leading the pack in North America <laughs> with. I know. And I know I it's a great say, team name. I love that team that name. They are also leading the pack in social media. I cannot oh, I, bet. I cannot call them M2KC, which is how they're how they're put up on the on the board. No. I'm like, no, it's Mew Mew Kitty Club. You gotta say it that way, otherwise. Right. You're start wrong. all their tweets with meow, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh Cloud9, who's already in, right? They're already in the yeah. finals. They're already up for of BlizzCon. Course. So they're not gonna be a part of the summer thing, I don't think. <laughs> Cloud9. That's so crazy to say. I know. Instead of super frosty. I love nine. It. Uh, so, and then Method Orange, the boys, the move, uh, that type of stuff in Europe, it should be no surprise that, uh, Method Black is way ahead of everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Those Method guys, they're good at stuff, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, they are, they are, uh, 250 points essentially, uh, away from the, the number two spot. So I, how can you say that they're not going to win? They should win. I mean, yeah, but they that? don't have any cats in their name. <laughs> That's true. Well, but they'll they'll win for EU. So the, uh, in the uh, summer finals, it's going to be one from NA, one from EU, correct? Or is it mm. two? Might be two. Where's Zervix when you need them? Uh, so there's Good that. Idea. There's that. Um, and then for Overwatch League, stage four, week two was this last weekend. Um, some good matches. I'll say, but I mean, you pretty you, sad matches. You start, you start well, looking at, yeah, you start looking at standings at this point because we're at the end of the year, right? Mm. So, you know, you start you start saying, well, Florida's been out of it for a while. They're not going to make it to the finals. <laughs> Washington, oh, Toronto, Florida. Boston. Uh, yeah, this is about the time when the best teams start choking. Oh, really? Well, that and that happened this week. Yeah. <laughs> There's some of that who, going on. Who choked? Who uh, choked this what? last week? Both both the top two teams. Wait, all didn't all three of the top three teams lose? I know San Francisco did. Um, yeah, all three of them did. So, New York lost. Vancouver lost. San Francisco lost. Yep. And all to teams that you wouldn't expect. Didn't I think Vancouver lost to the lost to Florida? Didn't they? Uh, now I got to find it. Now I got to find it. Uh, they lost to the Justice. Washington. That was New York. Yes, New York lost to, to so they so the top two teams New York lost, lost to, the, to the bottom two. New York lost to the Hunters to Chengdu. Oh, so oh, 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 oh. this is about the time when the top teams start choking. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Right <laughs> there it is. Just, just like, like remember, said. remember last year but when Nixel was like, "We're just pushing through. We have got it. It's fine. Right. We're gonna win." And you know, NYXL had their big party all planned out way ahead of time before the grand finals, and they're all you know, it's like, "Oh, we'll have it in New York. It'll be great because NYXL is totally gonna win. There's no way it's not gonna happen." Right. But and only. Choked. But there's only three more weeks, and so there's only <laughs> max for any of these teams uh, six more games, uh, as uh, you know, just because. You only get two, two a weekend at max. Does uh, that math work out there, Fist, for your old glads to come up from fifth place up to my NYXL in second? Who's max? Does that math work out for you? Listen. Because I can't do it, so I hope you can do it because I'm genuinely asking the question. You know I can't do math. <laughs> That's not fair. Also, <laughs> go take a hike and fly a kite, you hoser, because... Wow. <laughs> Wow. And like, and like, so it, that ain't, it, this is a Christian server. It, it's neither a Christian nor a server, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 I mean, it's those guys, those top three teams have got it on lock, though. I mean, they're in the they're in the playoffs no matter what, right? Yeah. I mean, I I think that they are, no matter what. Mm -hmm. I believe so. So, mm -hmm. uh, they Locked. can screw around all they want. <laughs> They can lose yes, to whoever they I've, want, which is... But the overall... Uh, I do like the way they work things uh, for the standings such that the overall record matters. You know, I, right. I think that's a, a solid touch. Right. But when you have... I mean, just looking <laughs> yeah. at just looking at the standings of Vancouver, right. <laughs> New York, and and, and uh, San Francisco, you're like, oh, yeah, they're plus 
40 and more on, you know, as yeah. far as maps yeah. go. It's like, ah, well, they're in. And so the grand finals are coming up September 29th. And uh, in Philly. that's coming up fast. Yes. In Philly. Philly. And then uh, in September, October, November, uh, we've got the World Cup yeah. at BlizzCon. Yeah, that'll be fun. And I am excited for that. Team Canada is exactly the same lineup as they were last year. XQC still still rocking and uh, and swearing and yep. all that kind of carrying on. Yep, that's right. XQC, <laughs> sure for it. Oh, it's gonna and, be so good. And using his leg as a gun. I mean, I, yeah, he does that too. Yeah, it's a really great GIF. But uh, Jane's not being the coach this year, unfortunately. No. So I'm a little upset about that, but it, it is tickety, so that's that's good. But I don't know. Wait, are you going to be the coach? Are, is this your announcement? Yeah, you should be the coach. I just want everybody to know that I am the coach of Team Canada. Nice. Uh, Congratulations, so Ezd. It's nice going to go like this: Hamster, Diva, Moira, uh, Soldier, uh, and uh, those are all the ones that I'm good at. <laughs> so I will be coaching them on those four. Nice. The rest is up to the Canadian gods. It's all in their hands. All right. I think I would uh, pay to sit in on the on the coaching sessions. Right. <laughs> hey, I could teach oh, a good hamster, okay? <laughs> nice. Nice. Teach a good hamster. And then uh, uh, other things that are upcoming as far as um, this weekend. I know that uh, WCS Challenger Series C Season 3 is in group stages. GSL mm -hmm. versus the world starts August 14th. If you, if you guys are into uh, Starcraft stuff, uh, and then Hearthstone masters tour soul, uh, starts up August 15th that weekend. And then the Grandmaster season two kicks off, uh, later in August. So it, August okay, 23rd and most importantly, yes, this weekend, mm -hmm. the MDS summer season starts, right? Right. That as well. So, Lots of stuff going on. Maybe not necessarily uh, everything is this weekend, but I mean, it's we're getting our, you know, who cares? Back to MDI's busy, this weekend. It's back fine. to, but it's back to busy season, essentially. Yeah. So soon, 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 soon. Um, so that'll be fun. I always I'm look forward. To, I always look forward to having way too much to watch. Me too. Yeah. It's better than not having anything. Yeah. And but it's always it's always nice when the MDI is on because then you don't have to feel conflicted about what to watch because it's sure. obvious. And if you were to ask me two years ago what was going on in esports, whatever, I would be like, esports? Ugh. Really? <laughs> now I'm like yeah. all into it. <laughs> Can I just... I, 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 uh, I heard a, an anecdote today uh, from one of my friends who works in the industry. Uh, they said that esports is... Uh, more like game of thrones than it is football in that it's more entertaining than it is entertaining in the way that traditional sports are to watch you know because fans are always into uh esport fans are, are more into the experience of it rather than I don't know, just like, you know, absorbing the score and what's happening and who did this and who did what, because esports is like a new venture and it's, it's, it's always, it's always going to be compared to traditional sports, but we, we know that like this, this new generation of quote unquote sport fans are coming from the internet. And so they enjoy like, you know, behind the scenes and, and more content and, and more things besides just playing the game. And that's why yeah. esports is such a, like a rapidly cool. growing, uh, entertainment source because it's it's like two two kinds of entertainment not well, just and, one. and because right. uh a lot of the people that watch the whatever esport it is actually play that particular game yes then there right. is the whole thing of them watching it as a as a tutorial almost for how they should be approaching their game uh and so you get to see a lot of things and especially for like overwatch league where they break it down uh and they give you all the different cameras for yes. all the different players, if you yeah. buy into the into the season pass, then stuff like that is really cool because you can just follow your favorites like Sinatra or or uh, sure, it's for. just Sinatra. no, it's just Sinatra. That's all. Uh, and and uh, and really learn what he's doing and how he approaches these different uh, characters and stuff. So yes, there is a lot to be had on these esport ventures. 
and it's only getting bigger yeah by yeah. the day it's, and great. it's incredibly unique like there the, the similar similarities make a lot of sense right the 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 kids who watched baseball growing up could also go play baseball right but mm-hmm. the barrier to entry is incredibly small in comparison right you can you can be playing while watching at the same time right which is much harder to do with you know t-sports <laughs> or, really or so. yeah. really yes. you can't yeah. watch baseball well, and play baseball at the same time we I mean, wouldn't know could, we've never tried such a thing you sure. probably listen to golf if you wanted to take a nap <laughs> while you're playing baseball <laughs> fair enough fair enough all right we're gonna get out of here uh, so I'm going to play this music right here. Uh, and these guys are going to tell us what's going on uh, in their lives and how you can uh, uh, hang out with them. Right? Thorn. Oh, yeah. What are you, what's going on with you? Are you doing any streaming or anything like that? Or the, and I know you have the Lagging Balls podcast and the, and the stream over there, right? Yes. Hello, my name is Thorn. I'm from the Lagging Balls podcast also from world of leak craft um you can find me on the twitters uh, uh behind the lagging balls moniker itself mm-hmm. or uh, uh behind thornbrow on twitter mm-hmm. uh that's that's pretty much the best place i'm not cool. gonna give you like facebook stuff i don't really i don't really do the facebook yeah, I, anymore uh, facebook is weird for me as well yeah yeah, yeah. I, he- I hear you I'll, i put up photos for my mom but i'm not really looking to, to create content on there Nah, oh, right. No offense, Zuckerberg. Right. My mom follows Pat on Facebook. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> oh, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice and a little she weird. <laughs> right. Because we've never met, so it's weird. Uh, oh, but you will. So, uh, Thist, how about you? Hi, Pat. Hi. 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 Uh, um, I don't know. Well, Le- Lagging Balls didn't have a show this week because okay. Storm is sick. So oh, we can record. no. So this is all we got, uh, but we'll probably be live on front. Well, actually, no, we won't be. Uh, I'm doing something this weekend. I'll tell you guys about it later. But um, nice doing that. Also watching the MDI, which is very important. Of course. Um, but you can find me at this zero three on anything. And you can also find me on Snapchat and IGTV at TryHard or Next Level spelled N-X-T-L-V-L. And that's a very Ooh. fine show. Go, go, uh, go Thank seek it out. You. Yeah. Uh, and of course, you can always follow me at Pat Crane with a K, pretty much anywhere. On Snapchat. Either, yeah, sure. Snapchat works. You love I've been Snap. ignoring. I've been ignoring Snapchat. I know. To be honest, I've been. I've been. I've been busy. All right. I keep sending you cool snaps, and you don't open them. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I will. They're gonna this. expire, Pat. Oh no! I'll take a look after the show. We'll see what's going on. <laughs> so uh, you can also follow Convert to Raid on the Twitters at Convert to Raid. It's very simple. Or you can go to Convert to Raid.com. That's where we have all this stuff. We have the audios, the videos, the uh, the Convert to Raid podcast network. Got that over there. The guild stuffs and uh, Discord informations and so forth. So so there. So you can get all that so stuff there. over at yeah, Convert to Raid.com. Right there. That's gonna do it for the show. Uh, Thorn. Thank you for jumping in. Fist, thank you as always. Thank you, Pat. And uh, Twitch chat, thank you guys for uh, being my inspiration. You're You're the reason in his life. You're You're his inspiration. That's right. You're the inspiration. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's 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 what I was. That's what I was going for. (laughs) Uh, so, So, thank you guys so much, and for all of you guys carrying us around with you. Obviously, thank you guys. Uh, we we couldn't do the show without you. We wouldn't do the show without you. How's that? No, it's true. No, without you guys, <laughs> we wouldn't do the show. Well, we might do the show, but after a while, we probably get, be like, Is a, uh, should we do the show? We don't have the guys carrying us around. And we so, can't do it. No, no. So so there. So that's it. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> and until next time. Bye bye, everybody. Bye-bye.